Thank you, my friend. Here you go. What is this? What would you say if I told <laughs> you that you were... Uh, what the f- Hey, man. I don't want What's this. What's up, man? What's wrong? Thank you, my friend. Sorry about this, but I only have these coins for you. Don't worry about it. Everything's useful. Really? And I understand. Do you need anything else? No, don't worry about it. Listen. Can we talk for a couple minutes? Kinda busy, man. Um, it won't take long. Promise. Um, I'll see you at the park then. Yeah, alright, I'll see you there. Thank you. Hey man, what happens? What can I help you with? Listen, I just wanted to thank you for being so kind to me. And I would like to offer you a burger. Uh, have you eaten yet? No, but don't worry about it. I can eat at home. I don't mind eating. Please take it. You never know when you could be hungry. Well, I'll take it, but um, well, I really need some money, you know. What's going on? I got a call from my siblings and I gotta return to my hometown for an emergency. Oh, you're not from around here? No, I'm not from here. I'm from, I'm from out of town. What are you doing around here then? Look, well, I came here to study and I'm doing what I can, you know? And what happened? Why aren't you studying? Why aren't you at school? Um. My siblings, they they called me and they told me that my mom's been really sick, so that's why I've been I've been working, you know, to make some money for her. Uh, how much do you make every day? I don't make a lot daily, about two hundred pesos, but that's what it is. That's I see. That's what I can do. Sometimes people are not very trusting. Okay. They think I'm gonna rob them or something. Yeah. How much do you need to go back? Around a thousand pesos would be enough, I think. How much have you saved? Mm. Well, I don't have much. I got this. I do have a lot of expenses, but I try to save. I've been staying with some friends. I like to, to pay it forward. They've been really kind to me. Um, but I do have other expenses, you know, besides these. Oh, okay, okay, I see. You never know what's coming and it can get difficult, right? Yeah. What was your name, by the way? Uh, it's Alex. Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm so embarrassed, Alex. I offered you some food, but nothing to drink. Um, I'm gonna go get us something to drink. Nah, don't worry about it, man. I'll, 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 I'll buy them. No, 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 don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. You already... You already bought the burger. <sighs> All right. That's okay. Um, I'll take care of your stuff while you go. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Those are on me. No, no, no. Don't mention it. Thank you. Why don't we help him out a little bit? And we place this money inside of his backpack. So he can go visit his family. This is the money he told me he needs. Here you go, man. Thank you. Well, Alex, when you went to the store, I decided that it was my turn to help you out. So, I placed some stuff inside of your backpack. The story you told me about your family really moved me and I hope that this will help you go back to them, go visit them. Why don't you check it out? And this? I hope this is useful for you. I would really like for you to go visit your family, be with your mom. Are you okay? This helps me a lot. You, you have no idea how much. I'm really glad to be able to help you, you know. It's not fair that honest, hardworking people just like you have to go through this. I really need to see my mom. She's everything to me. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, I don't want to mention it. How's your mom doing? My siblings called me earlier today. They told me she was really sick. The last time I saw her, she was okay. 
but when my dad passed away, she, she got really bad, really depressed, she wouldn't eat. Yeah. I helped her however I could, but I had to leave to look for something better. And, uh, well, my siblings took charge, but I'm always thinking about her, you know. When were you planning to go visit them? I can take you pick up your stuff, and then take you to the bus station. Oh yeah, don't worry about it, I don't need anything, and I just needed some extra money, you know. So thank you very much, no? Thank you. Alex, so you told me you're studying currently. Yeah, I would like to be an engineer. What would you like to be an engineer? Well, I really like it, um, because of my dad and my grandfather. Oh. Were they um, engineers or architects? Just... No, they were construction workers actually, but you know, I would help them a lot. I really liked spending time with them. But I was been into building numbers, you know? That's awesome. And uh, what happened to your dad? Why is he not with you? Why did he pass away? You know, being a construction worker for so long it took a toll on his lungs. And one day he got very really sick. We took him to the hospital, but eventually it was too late. My mom helped my siblings and I going on and she took charge she was a hero during all those difficult times I imagine it's a really difficult situation not having that paternal figure you and your siblings I'm sorry you had to go through that because family is everything but you, you're gonna be able to go back and be with your mom, okay? Mm. I'm really excited about that, but... Um, at the same time... It moves me a lot because... My mom... Worked... Day and night so we could study... And... I'm supposed to be studying and look at me... That's life, man. You never know what's gonna happen. Sometimes you just have to do you gotta do and you're doing the best you can to help her out really I hope that she gets better so you can share more time with her the truth is that I would love to bring them back my hometown is really really pretty the people there are really nice honest hard-working but the opportunities are not the same as here you know if you put your mind to it I'm sure you're gonna make it Okay, I promise. I promise, I promise. Effort is always rewarded. And if you put everything in God's hands, He's gonna help you out. You just have to do your part and keep moving forward. Right? We're, we're almost there. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm really sorry for speaking so much. I haven't let you eat at all. Nah, don't worry about it. I'll eat it later. The truth is that I I wasn't expecting to meet someone like you. And I would really like to do more for you. I want to help you and your family out. To make sure that your mom's sickness isn't a hindrance for you and your siblings. And I brought you this box. And I would like for you to to open it. Why don't you... Could you open it for please? There's a, there's a letter there for you. Could you read it out loud, please? I want to remind you that effort, gratitude, and love always bring rewards. Be grateful for what you have. Every step you take and everything you do brings you closer to your dreams. Never lose faith because you never know what will be in store for you. I'm really blessed to have met you and I'm glad you're in my way today. Thank you very much. God bless you. The truth is that what we're doing here is a social experiment, okay? 
whatever you find in that box is just a reflection of what you have done for me. Thankfully, we are in a position where we are able to help people. I shared a little bit of my story with you because I feel empathy towards you. I've been through a similar situation with my family where we, we were really poor and we had very difficult times. There were times where we didn't eat because we didn't have any money. My parents always did their best to to raise us. And you, you really deserve this. It's not fair that because of some conditions, right, some circumstances, uh, you have to go through these bad times. So I would like for you to take this, if this helps you out, you and your siblings and your mom, I would be very happy if it was the case. There's an envelope there. Can you take it out? What does it say? Gratitude. Gratitude, yeah. Speaking about it. I know you're a really grateful man. And just by meeting you today, I can see that you are grateful for every small thing in life. You, you don't ask for more. And you enjoy the things you have. The success of your work. You're very kind. And this is a reward for you. Could you open that envelope to see what's inside? <gasps> oh, as I told you, <laughs> you deserve this. Could you open the next envelope, please? Thank you very much. Effort. Effort. What can I tell you about effort? You made a lot of it. You've been working since you were a young kid. Your dad, your grandfather, you made a lot of effort leaving your family behind to look for a better future for you and them. That's very, very admirable. Please open that envelope as well. <sighs> it's just a little bit this of is what too you much. deserve. Could you open the last one? Love. Love is what you've shown to me the love that you have for your family the love that you show them the love between you and your mom all of the love that you show for your family all of the love between you guys it has to be rewarded because if we don't share our love with our family I'm really we don't have anything grateful. you have no idea how hard it's been I know Alex I know I'm really glad. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're getting this money. <laughs> and before we go, I would like you to have this money. This is for your education, right? I would like for you to pay your tuition, anything you need. Thank you. You're gonna be a great engineer. I'm sure about that. <laughs> and uh, please use it as you need. Money comes and goes, but it really helps out to start over okay I'm sure you're gonna be very successful and I'm uh, that you're gonna use that money for something amazing so so please take it I promise you this money goes towards my family my mom my education you have no idea how helpful this is this is gonna help me a lot I'm really thankful I'm really sure about that you're gonna see, your mom's gonna get better, and I hope that maybe they could move to the city with that money, and that way you can be together and you won't worry about her too much, alright? So, well thank you, I'm really glad to be able to help you out, to meet you. You bet you will, you bet you will. It makes me really happy, I'm sure your dad's taking care of you, he's watching proudly from heaven. And uh, I'm gonna leave you now so you can go to your family. Thank you very much. I'm really, really thankful. I'm sure they're gonna be really happy to see you. Okay? <laughs> Have a great trip. 
Goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much.